We've all heard this before. We should practice safe sex, otherwise we might be infected with an STI like chlamydia, herpes or even HIV. But has anyone ever warned you for an infection with trick or trichomonas? Some of you are now scratching behind their ears and vaguely recall this unknown STI, while others are hearing it for the first time. Anyhow, buckle up, because today we are discussing everything you need to know on TRIG. So make sure to watch this whole video so you don't miss any important information. And for those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate my viewers so you can make healthier decisions. But just remember, I'm just a random doctor from the internet, I can't provide you with any personal medical advice, therefore always contact your doctor. And now, let's get learning. Trick, also called trichomonas, is an infectious disease that is caused by a parasite named Trichomonas vaginalis, which is a protozoa, meaning it's a single-celled organism. When you're infected and you're a female, it nestles in your lower genital tract, such as your vagina, cervix, urethra or bladder, and in men it resides in the urethra and semen or prostate. These locations explain why Trick is a sexual transmitted infection and you can get it from having sexual intercourse with a person who is infected by it, even if this person is asymptomatic, which means he or she has no symptoms. This is important because once infected, about 70% of people does not develop any symptoms. And those that do develop symptoms, they typically begin within 5 to 28 days after the initial infection. In men, trick may cause an irritation inside of the penis, might cause a burning sensation after peeing or ejaculating, and it might cause a discharge. In women, trick may cause itching, burning, redness and soreness of the genitals, discomfort when peeing and a vaginal discharge. This discharge can have an increased volume with a white, yellow or greenish color and an unusual fishy smell. And in both men and women, a trick infection might lead to discomfort or even pain when having sexual intercourse. Furthermore, all these symptoms can range from mild irritation to severe inflammation, potentially causing some complications. Trick is associated with an increased risk of getting HIV and HPV. Ultimately, in women, this might increase the risk for developing cervical cancer, and in men, it might increase the risk of prostate cancer. When pregnant, a trick infection might also lead to several complications, such as a low birth weight or premature birth. So, a quick summary trick is a sex parasite that infects your genitals, which can be transmitted through sexual intercourse. And best case scenario, it causes a lot of very annoying symptoms. The unfortunate part is that trick is very common. In fact, it's the most common curable STI. It was estimated that there were about 2 million trick infections in 2018 in the United States alone. And worldwide, we're talking 60 to about 180 million cases. Luckily, you are watching this video, and when you finished it, you know everything you need to know about Trick and how to prevent an infection. So maybe you would reward all my efforts of making this video by clicking the like and subscribe button. You will never miss such an awesome video ever again. Thanks, and let's continue. Now, if you're anything like me, you're wondering now, how can I prevent an infection with Trick? Well, luckily, the answer is easy, and it corresponds, hopefully, with all the safe sex tips your parents told you. Think twice before beginning sexual relations with a new partner. It's wise to first discuss past partners, STIs and drug use. Consider sexual activities other than vaginal or oral sex. Use a condom. Avoid drinking alcohol or using drugs, as this can increase the chances that you will participate in high-risk sex. Have regular tests and checkups for STIs. And lastly, beware of your own and your partner's body. Look for signs of sores, blisters, rashes or discharge. Bringing us to maybe the most important medical question ever. When should you contact your doctor? Did you have unprotected sexual intercourse these last weeks or months? Did you have multiple bed partners? Do you have discharge from your genitals or any of the previously mentioned symptoms? Or do you worry about possibly having a trig infection? Then please contact your doctor. He or she could help you to find out the extent of your symptoms and the underlying medical 
problem. Your doctor might do this by asking about your current symptoms, your medical history, the medication you're taking. If necessary, your doctor might do a physical examination, some urine and blood tests, and the vaginal or penile swab test. Your doctor could also refer you to a urologist depending on the underlying problem and causes. Now, after you visit your doctor and he did all the tests and the conclusion is that you do have a trick infection, this is not the end of the world. If you have been listening carefully, I already mentioned that trick is a curable STI. In fact, it's easily treatable usually with a one-time oral dose of an antiprotozoic, like mitranidazole, which resolves 95-97% to of all infections in one dose. Here it is also important to mention that your partner also gets treated, even if he or she does not have any symptoms, as again, trick can be asymptomatic. Furthermore, withhold from having sexual intercourse for 7-10 to 10 days after you had your one dose of antiprotozoics. And lastly, if you have a proven trick infection, always get treated. If you don't, an infection can last for months or even years and can cause serious complications. Now, I hope you know now what a trick infection is, how you can prevent it and how you possibly can treat it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. For those of you that want to keep on learning and increase your medical knowledge, check out the playlist in the description and consider to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers and by clicking that button, you can help me reach that goal and your medical knowledge will be improved every week with a new video. Thank you all for watching. A special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an university supporter. And for those of you that can't get enough, I also have an Instagram account at How to Medicaid. I will see you there or I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye and thanks for watching.